Hi, this is Ken from Ken's Horticultural Services and Colonialgardens.com. Uh, today we're looking at some ornamental grasses in the middle of winter. Uh, right now it's about the end of January, and uh, some grasses are better than others. Some get smooshed down by the snow. Some of them seem to hold up. Uh, this is a particularly good one in the background here. This is the Miscanthus goliath, Miscanthus sinensis goliath. It's one of the earliest blooming grasses, so it comes on about the end of August and it has beautiful red tassels and plumes on them. And you can see now in the winter time they've turned a pure brown color and they have these beautiful plumes. It's quite a nice plant to have in the winter time. It's optional. You can cut them down in the fall if you want and get rid of them. Uh, but a lot of people like to leave them through the winter time. There is a possibility that you get a heavy snowfall and the thing is completely crushed or collapsed. And you may have to come out and cut that thing off. Uh, typical of ornamental grasses, you want to get them cut down before, probably in, in the Okanagan around the end of March. Or, I mean, sorry, end of February is better timing. First week of March or so is not a bad time to do that. You take them right flat to the ground so that when the new shoots come up, there, there's not any uh, debris down there that's going to affect them for the next year when you cut them down. So, again, the Miscanthus goliath, it's a nice one. This one, I think, holds up better than most of the grasses that you'll see around. So for a winter form, it's not bad. It's a good plant. You might notice just underneath here too, there's a, a, a nice aster here. This is an aster picardii, if you can see that. And it gives a little bit of form, a little bit of seed heads on it. You have to be careful leaving too many seed heads on over winter time because they do seed all over the place. This particular one doesn't seed, so it's a good one, and I know I can leave that one for the winter. So a lot of the perennials, again, we cut them all down in the fall. We do select just a few to leave through the winter time, just so again when the snow sits on them, you've got something to look at. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to CloneGardens.com. Remember to check us for all your gardening needs.